My journey has been um, in the church my whole life, but um, struggled often to just really doubt my salvation or who am I really, like am I really saved, am I really His? Um, through one of the um, homework assignments that we did through, um, sorry, <laughs> the one of the homework assignments that we did through father's house was just asking us to, you know, where have we been stuck in a toxic memory or, or stuck in condemnation? I feel like I've done a lot of work. I've taught on shame, taught on condemnation, but through this just prayer experience with the Lord, I feel like he just revealed to me and opened up, reminding me of when I accepted Christ and knelt down on a couch similar to this with my mom when I was seven years old. And I thought, why is this a toxic memory? This should be like an amazing memory. And then the next question was, what have you believed about yourself? What have you believed about this memory? And I think what I believed about it is that it didn't take, it didn't work. I wasn't, I didn't, I wasn't sincere enough. It didn't, um, I didn't really know what I was doing. And in that moment, I saw Jesus walk in the room at my little house in Illinois. And I've never seen him in that moment. And he just walked in and he handed me his heart. <laughs> and I was done. <laughs> If I could have made that up, I would have a long time ago, but I did not make that up. And so I feel like that with the diagram of my spirit has just been life-giving to me to see that, okay, that's what happened. He gave me his heart. I have a new heart. And that is, no matter what I feel on any given day or what I think, I am forever changed because I'm his. I have his heart and, and he's mine.